Today's top story is going to be about what's going on in Atlanta. I haven't really looked into it too far. So I'm going to be taking all of this in with you alongside you. Okay. So I'm letting you guys know ahead of time, basically just seeing it for the first time. But at a news conference today, a law enforcement official says early indications are that Atlanta area mass shooter, Robert Aaron Long may have been motivated by stemming from sexual addiction, not racism, but he cautions that the investigation is at an early stage. Yesterday was a really bad day for him. And this is what he did. A law enforcement official explains Robert Aaron Long. It seems like this dude was kind of an incel or not kind of an incel. He was just like straight up incel who uh, went and uh, from what I understand to the best of my knowledge so far, he it was engaged in a deadly Atlanta area spa shooting claims. He did it because he had a sex addiction and because he was attempting to take out that temptation. This notion that like Asian women work in sex spas and are temptresses, therefore they need to be attacked is a very Start common uh, stereotype. So people who are saying like this has nothing, this has no racialization as a component within it is uh, kind of wrong, I think. Uh, like this is like, this is definitely a, especially in white supremacist circles, fetishization of Asian women in general is a, a, a really common thing. I mean, some of those fucking literal Nazis, like actual white supremacist Nazis will have like Asian wives. They say that like Asian women are servile and subservient and, and all this other shit. And that's where that's, that's part of the reason why so many white supremacists surprisingly have fucking Asian wives. So then they turn around and say, oh, well, we're not like, I mean, isn't there a meme like called literally libertarian guys with Asian wives? There is a huge group on Facebook called libertarian with Asian wives, unironically. Yeah. So let's say, let's get into it. In let's Atlanta, uh, start. Because there are fears this morning that a string of deadly shootings at massage parlors in the Atlanta area could be linked to a wave of attacks against Asian Americans. Eight people were killed in the city and at least one wounded in those attacks yesterday night. And at least half of the victims are believed to be Asian women. Three of the women were killed at the gold spa behind me. Police say it's too soon to tell whether victims were targeted because of their race. But these shootings do come during a pandemic era surge in hate crimes against Asian Americans. The shooting spree began around 5 p.m. Monday at Young's Asian Massage Parlor in Cherokee County, 30 miles north of Atlanta. Two victims died at the scene, two more at the hospital. Less than an hour later, police were called to Gold Spa, an Atlanta massage parlor, where police say three women who appeared to be Asian had been shot and killed. While at that, at that location, we received another call across the street at shots fired. That location was aromatherapy spa, where another victim who also appeared to be an Okay, this is random, but that cop literally looked like Harvey Weinstein. A manhunt began for the suspect, seen in surveillance footage, driving a black Hyundai earlier in the day. <laughs> yeah, cops be like, as you can see, he's driving a Hyundai, which is an Asian vehicle, and uh, therefore this cannot be a hate crime. This is more insult shit than racism. Do you disagree? Guys, what, what? I don't know why everyone constantly rushes to, like, parse through this in a hyper specific capacity when incel shit is super fucking racist incel stuff is very very alt-right just because there are some incels who aren't does not change the reality that like a lot of incel culture straight up hyper mogging skull mogging phenotypes all of that stuff literally is borderline not even borderline just straight up nazi uh phrenology the bio essentialist arguments that incels make are literally the same arguments that nazis make uh asian fetishization of this uh, uh of this regard is uh, rampant in the alt-right uh a lot of incels are alt-right not all maybe not all incels are alt-right but say all alt-right are incels though so you know it, it's um I, it would not surprise me if this person who engaged in this action also had a fuckload of anti-Asian sentiment demonstrated or like a fetishization of Asian people demonstrated in his uh, profiles. You know what I mean? Like about how Asian women are subservient, da -da -da, all this other like uh, stereotypes, right? I mean, it's not a fucking accident that hate crimes against Asians have exploded in the past uh, two years. Like why the fuck did it happen? It's the constant anti-China sentiment. It's a lot of Americans, whether what no matter what their political background backgrounds is coming to the realization that China is a hegemonic power competing against uh, the United States uh, global dominance and are relatively successful at it. And that is creating an existential threat 
in the minds of Americans who probably don't want to admit but still recognize that the age of American empire is coming to a close. So they, instead of dealing with those problems head on and trying to fucking solve some of the internal problems in the United States, are turning around and just uh, shitting on Asian people and, and saying, oh, well, it's because, you know, China's doing this or China's doing that. There are a lot of people who fucking believe this. Unfortunately, there's just it's, it's just denial. Anyway, a Korean newspaper is reporting that an eyewitness heard him say that he will kill all Asians. The Atlanta shooter said, I'm going to kill all Asians according to a local Korean media interview with a surviving witness. Okay, that stuff is, this stuff is not, listen, a lot of information blows up like this in the immediate aftermath of a breaking news story, right? It makes sense to me. I just need to wait for uh, some of this stuff to come out. There's a lot of, yeah, this might be fake. Like, there's a lot of stuff that comes out. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that rush to tie together a narrative. And I don't want to do that. But it's not crazy to assume, it's not crazy in my opinion, at least, or in my immediate uh, assumptions, it's like, it's not crazy to assume that a fucking incel would be also racist. Do you understand? It's just, uh, it's not really, it's not really going to be that all that shocking. Uh, we were able to interview him uh, with the Atlanta Police Department and the FBI. Um, he made indica uh, ind indicators that um, uh, he has uh, some, some issues, uh, potentially uh, sexual addiction and um like sexual addiction dude what the fuck is this it's such a ridiculous thing oh yeah he has sexual addiction yeah okay dude yeah that's that's why i hate to have sexual addiction and and go out on a fucking murderous rampage targeting a, a bunch of asian sex workers i fuck man that's sexual addiction dude uh may have frequented some of these places in the past and um and, but as the chief indicated it's still early on we still have a lot of uh uh, things to process, and uh, I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have sure. at the moment. So are you saying, when you talk to the suspect, mm -hmm. he says he has a sexual addiction, addiction issue, but I'm sure you asked him, was this racially motivated? Was this racially motivated? Um, as the chief indicated, uh, it's still early, but uh, the indicators right now are, uh, uh, it, it may not be. Uh, it may be targets of opportunity. Uh, again, we are we believe that he frequented these places in the past and, um, and uh, may so they're looking for a motive right that's why they're looking for this but if you're just immediately rushing to the conclusion that this is sex related then you're saying that massage parlors are inexplicably tied to for some reason asians so it's not that far of a stretch to assume that this person also had that same fucking motivation and literally is the reason or same understanding and literally fucking went to massage parlors because there's going to be Asian women there that he can fucking murder. That's where the that's that is actually a racial stereotype. Most people don't recognize this, but but that is part of the reason why, um, you know, Asian businesses get targeted and attacked. And, and this is one of those things. It's like a it's a stereotype in Turkey for massage parlors to have, uh, you know, Slavic women, uh, women from the Eastern Bloc. And I feel like in America, it's like Asian women. For something to be racially motivated or racially targeted, it does not necessarily have to be like, I hate Asian people and I'm going to kill Asian people. I am looking to kill Asian people. Like someone doesn't need to fucking literally be like, there's something mentally odd with people willing to do shit like this. Yes, chat. Of course, chatter. There is something like off with people that want to do shit like this obviously they're literally they're like a serial killer no one is saying that like you're of sound and mind and body when you are engaging in serial killing but the problem is that's not a defense you, do you see what i'm saying that's not a and, and a lot of times people just like use that as a deflection mechanism and it's it's really frustrating for the investigators they interviewed him this morning and i uh, they got that impression that yes he he understood um the gravity of it and he was pretty much fed up and then kind of at the end of his rope and um, and yesterday was a really bad day for him and this is what he did he wow that's crazy I i'm sorry guys there's no way that they would talk about this situation if the if the shooter wasn't uh who he is and if the victims weren't who they are like this motherfucker's like oh he had a bad day taking one down yeah he's just gonna turn it around okay guys this is a this is the intersectionality of bigotry uh, at play right in front of our eyes where they're asian so you know people don't care about it as much the model minority myth rears is ugly head once again asians are considered uh like a part of the in class or because they're the model minority by a lot of 
uh, white people that like they they rarely ever get the uh, same kind of empathy sympathy uh, coverage uh, when they are victims of uh, racialized violence or anything like that and uh, beyond that the the other intersectionality here is sex work where they're sex workers so their lives are worth less than uh, non-sex workers and that's why you can be so almost so careless when uh, talking about you know how many eight lives that were taken they are assumed sex workers exactly Oh, the right wing talking point is pinning black people against Asian people, I assume. Yeah, much of the anti-Asian violence has been perpetrated by black people. Anti-Asian sentiment is a problem in the black community and has been for a long time. These are the facts trying to reposition this as white supremacy is bullshit and people who are doing it are liars, says Matt Walsh, who funnily enough calls himself a theocratic fascist when he when he actually is literally a theocratic fascist, by the way. Like this guy is a real psycho. Like he's a real sick freak. Uh, one of the one of the Daily Wire uh, boys here. It's a uh, it's a classic way of deflecting the responsibilities of white supremacy away from the dominant group back to minorities themselves. It does happen uh, very frequently. It's an it's an ongoing. It's always been a thing. Has anyone provided an iota of evidence that what is driving this horrific surge of anti-Asian violence is white supremacist domestic terror? That would require data showing who is primarily perpetrating the violence and with what motive? Where is that? Please look at how stupid and lowly so many liberals are now. If you ask uh, a question for dubious claims about the cause of anti-Asian violence, they won't answer. Their brains won't allow that. Instead, they'll call you racist. That's all they know how to do. I, like, I don't know why... Uh, Glenn is is uh, turned full fucking full tilt uh, reactionary here. I mean, I do know why. He's just like straight up. What I uh, find to be weird about this is like, if you see a fucking dude, I mean, there was a uh, there was a black Israelite guy, right, that went into a deli and killed a bunch of Jewish people, I think, or tried to kill a bunch of Jewish people, and it was obviously racially fucking motivated. Like that was an anti-Semitic hate crime most people didn't fucking turn around and go oh i don't know let's look to further evidence here like you see the victim you see the motive you look at the background of the perpetrator and that's how you follow a pattern of behavior and and make an assumption or make a uh exact make an assumption basically on on what this could be i i don't know why it's like such a ridiculous fucking point of view and also the horrific surge of anti-asian violence is white supremacist domestic terror the anti-asian violence that has increased is partially being pushed by state department propaganda which glenn greenwald is very knowledgeable on so i'm surprised how the very same person who recognizes this kind of anti-Iraqi or anti-Afghan or anti-Middle uh, Eastern sentiment cannot comprehend it when it's being directed towards Asians in a similar capacity. Never forget that it was originally the State Department in the United States of America that straight up said that COVID was uh, potentially built in a fucking lab, in a Chinese lab. That, and on top of that, like Donald Trump constantly saying like Kung flu, blah, 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 all this other shit, of course is going to lead to a bunch of dumbass Americans who were even stupid enough to you know experiment with hydroxychloroquine or believe that covid is not real to literally assume that asians are responsible the page act which was the first racial ban was introduced to end, end the danger of cheap chinese labor and immoral chinese women the hypersexualization of asian women is american oh 100 anyone who doesn't recognize that like uh asian women are uh deeply fetishized in white supremacist culture or even in american culture in general is is uh, wildly uh off base here like, it's just a totally a, a thing that occurs everything from fucking uh even family guy you know what i mean like you you see the jokes everywhere right yeah the trad wife uh rhetoric so racist why are Asians the highest earners in America? Do you know that Asian Americans face the highest poverty rates in New York City? Chinatown restaurant and construction workers live here in 64 square feet cubicles for $9 a day. One in four elders live in poverty. Some collect five cent cans to make ends meet. Or what about ICE deporting Cambodian Americans who came here as children fleeing from a genocide that the U.S. helped create? But when you think of Asian Americans, you think crazy rich Asians and Netflix's bling empire. Only model minority stories are publicized while disadvantaged Asian Americans get ignored. The groups at the top were only led in the US if they were already rich and educated. Yup, I, I say this all the fucking time, dude. The reason why uh, uh, Asians as a entire race is pitted against other marginalized communities in this country is a consequence of the socioeconomic conditions of the the majority of asian people who have the affluence and the previous background to be able to get to the united states through legal means i myself am an example of this not as an asian well i guess technically uh eurasian i i don't know what the fuck i would be but as a turkish person i come from an affluent background 
and therefore was able to legally migrate into this country. That gives me a lot of advantages over the average uh, Turkish citizen trying to come into the United States, which literally, like if you were to look at all Turkish people that live in America and try to understand like where they're coming from, it would be like it would be like portraying the entirety of of uh, the black community in the United States by looking at Nigerians who are super affluent and super educated, highest educated ethnic group in this country. And the groups at the bottom are usually refugees. This model minority myth not only erases Asian suffering and struggles, it's also used to demonize the black and Latino community for living in poverty by denying the existence of systemic racism. Exactly. This is a great. This is a great fucking uh, explanation. Conservatives like Crowder trying to blame black people for the Asian hate crimes is disgusting, man. Of course they're going to do that. Of course they're going to do that, guys. This is what fucking reactionaries do. Isn't this post on Asian hate a bit tone deaf? 88 rising? What the fuck, dude? Enough is enough. Heartbroken with discussing senseless violence and Georgia's night violence against the Asian community. Like, I just, I, I'm done, dude. Yo, yellow squares? Come on, guys. I, I made fun of the black squares as well, uh, as it pertained to, uh, you know, people being able to do like the lowest form of, of, uh, social activism, uh, slacktivism, hashtag activism, but this is, is just ridiculous.